could see Robbie Brady move to the left-hand side in the other change. It's going to see Emil Reese replaced. And Militant Osmaic will come on for him. Militant Osmaic, a man who all five of his Preston North End goals have come in front of the town end. Chenda North End attacking. That's right, the town end. Yeah, positive moves there from, from Ryan Lowe. Brownie looked at the bench before. It's a strong bench, a lot of experience. Brownie, that's my usual powerful player. Um, to get about the Huddersfield defenders running behind. Alan Brown was trying to get his body across. Couldn't quite do, it, do so adequately enough for the referee to buy the free kick. McCann to Keane. Holmes gets on his bike and moves down the right-hand side, but Keane checks back. Lindsay to Cunningham. Frockyard for Brown. Oh, it nearly went through for us, Maic. Helic and Pearson able to cover up quickly enough. Brady now on the left. First time crosses, looking for Brown. Falls down for Holmes. Holmes across yes. the box! And there he is, the town in Titan, Militan Osmaic! North End with yet another Digdale comeback. They've left it late but got the job done. Militan Osmaic feeding off the ball from Dwayne Holmes. Makes it North End 2, Huddersfield Town 1. Brilliant from Dwayne there, just kept his distance at the back poles, waiting for the header to get cleared. Makes the right decision this time, puts the ball in straight across that front post. Osmaic with a great run. Left the defender to the dead there, great finish as well, kept it low. Dwayne Holmes picked his pass, and Militan Osmaic sent Deepdale into raptures. Brilliant ball in from Dwayne. He just loves it here at Deepdale, Militan Osmaic. Six for the season. And he's now serenaded by the home support. PNE ahead in a game they knew they had to win. Story feeds it forward to Osmaic. He's offside plenty, he can be frustrating. But when he scores at home like that, you know the fans just love him. Listen to that record, that, that side of the goal in front of the fans is brilliant. What he offers you is bullish, he, he doesn't give the defenders a minute's rest. He's quick, it, like I say, he's a big unit, so he uses it well. Um, a great run to the front post, Dwayne with a great pick out. We said at half-time, he needed more intensity to the game, and they've definitely come out second half and done that. Been Huddersfield on the back foot, trying to slow, game, slow the game down. Uh, and Preston have got what they deserve. You mentioned they don't score goals in the last 10 minutes, but when they do, they're memorable. Liam Lindsay at Blackburn. Liam Miller here against Leeds. Add Militan Osmaic against Huddersfield Town to that list. And the other goal was Will Keane on the opening day. Point that may have just been a point, but it's set North End on their way to a fantastic start. Holmes, Keane, McCann. McCann trying to shift it back onto his right. Spencer had read that and able to block him off. Might be difficult to pick a man of the match this evening. You've sung the praises of Robbie Brady, but Alan McCann has yeah. been brilliant in that midfield. 100%. They're, they're the two that really stand out for me, Brady. Constant threat with the balls in, picking up smart, clever pockets. Always a threat going forward. But McCann called it early, he got a yellow card first half. To play in that position, you've got to go, you work, go where you work a little bit, uh, not as much as tackling and, and, and slowing the sort of player down, especially Huddersfield's attack. He's done that well, he's timed it well. Huddersfield have made another change. Wiles off, Radulovic on. Another striker for a midfielder. Thomas is going into the midfield. Healy's moving out wide. Huddersfield, I don't think care just how they line up right now. They just need to get the ball forward. But it might leave pockets for PNE to play. Keane, Brown, Brown feeds it through. Osmaic racing through. Osmaic! He's done it again! 
that should put it beyond doubt. He takes the love from the North End support once more. It's been a devastating impact off the bench. Militant Osmaic with his second of the night. North End three, Huddersfield Town one. Brilliant finish there from Osmaic. Great run, powerful boy. Like I said before, very quick, brilliant play from Brownie. Got in the half turn, slipped him in. Great finish. Well, he sped onto it, away from the Huddersfield defence. And when he needed to slow down and just find the corner, he fed it past Nichols and gave North End exactly what they need. Two goals in four minutes for the Montenegrin. North End in complete control. giving Ryan Lowe something to think about come Saturday, isn't it? It is. I spoke before, previously, on, on when I was on here, about the quality of depth from the bench. The squad's good. People are coming in. You look at Greg, last couple of games coming in, good experience, coming off the bench, looking a threat. And they are staking a claim, but when you can have that, you know, striker that can come on, as my age can come on and make an impact like he's done now, that's brilliant. Woodman clearing downfield here. Huddersfield Town fans away to our left-hand side, leaving in droves. North End keeping the ball. As it stands, moving up to eighth place. There will be five points. Off Norwich City. Evening, we're drawing 2-2 at Sheffield Wednesday. Thomas, heavy touch in the midfield, picked up by Brown. Smythe was running in behind again. He fancies he might get a hat trick. This is good from Preston, just retaining the ball a little bit, moving the ball quick, getting the midfield running about. It's a constant threat as Myers down the channels. It's constantly looking for that one to run in behind. We mentioned before the game, of course, both sides needing the points. Say so the away fans beginning their journey home, of course, Huddersfield Town, a club close to your heart. Yep. As it stands, they will remain outside the bottom three, just on goal difference alone. Richard Sheffield Wednesday drawing with Norwich elsewhere this evening. Just a word for your former club and obviously the battle they find themselves in as we go into six minutes of added time. Yeah, you know, disappointing for them. They came here first half, looked, looked good, looked, set good intentions, started quick, but just fizzled out. You could see that they were fragile. As soon as Preston got that goal, confidence just sort of slipped away a little bit. They didn't really look any, um, sort of put any pressure on at all. It's going to be difficult, you know, there's some good teams down there. A lot of points to fight for, so hope, hopefully they can do that. Um, you know, they've got some good players individually, um, good setup there, good academy. So hopefully they can get out of the situation they're in. And that result at Hillsborough, one both sets of fans will be keeping an eye on. As I say, North End cutting the gap to Norwich to five points with seven before play. They come here to Deepdale on Saturday. PNE also have a game in hand. All of a sudden, hey, might just be happening. Alan Brown. Gets it away here, Frockyar. Can it get even better? Osmaic waiting in the middle. Osmaic! Oh. <laughs> it's a hat trick for the big man! A night he will never forget! And neither will Digdale! He's lit the park up this evening! He's not needed many touches, but those he have had have counted a hat-trick for Militant Osmaic. It's Preston North End 4, Huddersfield Town 1. Absolutely brilliant from him again. Like I say, they can't live with him, the Huddersfield defenders. He's a strong boy, we mentioned before. Just can't match his run in the middle there. Great finish. Again, he's, he's that willing runners there from Mads to put the ball in first time. Great ball. Set it up nicely. 
Six sensational minutes for Militant Osmaic. First player to score a league hat-trick here in almost nine years. Joe Garner against Swindon Town. The last man to do so.